Hi guys, welcome to another action figure review. Today I have a, another NECA figure. It is another Assassin's Creed NECA figure. And it is the uh, Toys R Us exclusive Onyx Assassin Ezio unhooded. So uh, let's take a look at this guy. This guy was the first... Um, no, not the first. He's the second Assassin's Creed figure I got. I have three. I'm going to review the next one probably soon. But... um. Yeah, here is Ezio. So pretty much the main attraction of this figure for being a Toys R Us exclusive is he is unhooded. So you get the full detail of his head. And NECA did a really good job. This definitely looks like Ezio from the game. You got his uh, beard kind of thing going on, which is graying a bit and his brown. Eyebrows are pretty nicely detailed. This and the eyes are really good. You got really nice texture in the uh, in scoops and sculpting in the head. Um, I really do like that. Hair is really nicely detailed. And he does have his ponytail that's wrapped up in a little, uh, with a little band there. And he got his uh, fine collar thing going on there, which is really cool, and the big collar right there. This one's really armored up. He has a big armor pauldron right there with some really nice ornate detailing a bunch of straps his other arm you got the uh, gauntlet here which has an assassin logo which I don't know if you can see that but a lot of ornate detail on that and you got detail on the inside as well as the mechanism for the hidden blade then you got his uh, signature Assassin's Creed Brotherhood gauntlet right there which again looks really nice he has sculpted on um, Throwing knives, a big Assassin's Creed belt buckle right there with the Assassin's logo, a little red jewel paint in there, some more throwing knives, a little sash here that would be used to hold a sword. Unfortunately, I don't. he did not come with a sword. I did at the beginning show him with a sword. That's just a sword I have from another figure that seems to fit him, so I use that. Very nice clothing. Um, it's pretty uh, flexible cl clothing too. Uh, the Assassin's Creed Altair's clothing is kind of more sturdier, not as movable. This one's a bit more movable. On the back here, the armor detail continues, and you got a bunch of pouches here, which is really cool. As you can see, he also got his little side cape here, which is very nice. And then underneath, he just got, he got some trousers. He got boots that has some nice ornate detailing of the armor as well. Steel toed as well. It's pretty cool. So, pretty good looking Ezio figure. Um, wasn't really originally planning to get any unhooded ones, but I saw him at Toys R Us and I wasn't going to take pass up the opportunity because Assassin's Creed figures around here are fairly rare. As far as art his articulation goes, he has two ball joints in the neck a ball hinge in the shoulder which also um yeah it's a ball joint i'm pretty sure there's nothing else in there um i think there's like a hinge with a swivel at the elbow ball hinge wrist ball joint torso ball hinge hips double hinge knees swivel at the boot right there Ball hinge ankles and a hinge at the toe. So, really good articulation. NECA figures usually don't disappoint in that regard. As for accessories, he does come with two hidden blades. I have one right there, and there is another one that goes in there. Don't have that there because I do have him holding his other accessory, which is this thing right here the crossbow. I think this was the first time a crossbow was released with a Assassin's Creed figure. So that's kind of a cool thing. It is cool too. You got the string right there. The front looks like an eagle. And the wood's pretty nicely detailed on it. And then you've got the grip, which looks pretty good. So a cool little accessory. He holds it all right. I mean, as best as he can. So I'm not really going to complain. It just kind of sits in his hand. So overall, this is a pretty cool figure. If you're a fan of Assassin's Creed, um, 
I definitely recommend it because I think you should have at least one unhooded figure in your collection if you're into the Assassin's Creed uh, game as I am. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video.